Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a really long time since I've done a video, but I've been really busy at the moment. I've been really loving some beauty products over the last couple of months, and I haven't been able to do a favourites recently, so I'm going to do one now for November. I literally, I can't believe that it's already the end of November and it's nearly Christmas. It's very exciting. Let's get straight into my favourites and they're all kind of beauty related this month because they're the, just the types of things I've been loving. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is something that I've bought really recently, actually in the last week. And I absolutely love it and I'll um, show you right now. So this is a kind of beauty container. It's in this clear kind of acry acrylic plastic and it has two drawers, um, a little compartment at the top for things to slot into and some slots in the top there for lipsticks. Now I've been wanting something like this for a really long time and I just haven't got around to buying one. It's been so useful, especially for the lipsticks, that's the thing that I find that always work their way to the bottom of my makeup bag and I'll be searching for one lipstick and it will be the last one I pick up. So that's been really useful and I'm just at the moment keeping all my favourite lipsticks in there just so I can easily grab them and all my kind of everyday makeup apart from my brushes which I keep separately. So yeah, it's just really easy for me to do my makeup in the morning because everything's there ready to go. So my next beauty favourite of the month will B, ah, this is it, an eyeshadow palette. Now, this is by Makeup Academy. Now, this is from Superdrug. I got it with my glossy box this month. Yeah, this month. And, yeah, it's just a really lovely eyeshadow palette. If I just show you inside, it's kind of like these kind of neutrally, cut some pinkies and some brownie colours. And there's a gold here as well. It's just really lovely. And I haven't looked at the price, but it's Makeup Academy. So it's relatively cheap, so it's affordable. It just, it's really lovely. It only has, the only thing is, it's only got kind of one slash two matte eyeshadows in here so they're the others are really shimmery so if you're not into a shimmery eyeshadow then I guess this wouldn't be for you but if you like these kind of glittery shimmery tones especially as we're coming up to Christmas then I definitely recommend this so another product that I've been absolutely loving for the last couple of months and I got this for my birthday I've mentioned it in a makeup tutorial but not in a favorites yet and it's this revolution makeup ultra brow professional makeup and I've got it in fair to medium now in here you get some gels and some powders you also get a shimmery kind of under the brow colour and a kind of concealery thing that I've kind of ruined but anyway I love this it is amazing I've got it on my eyebrows at the moment it's a perfect colour for me so I've kind of stopped using this and gone to this and I find this is just so much quicker to use. I can do my eyebrows much quicker and you can choose whether you're going to have a subtle brow or a dramatic look. So if I'm going for a dramatic look then I'll use the kind of gel as an outline and then go over with the powders or if I'm just going to work or whatever then I'll just use a bit of the powder just to kind of give my brows a little bit of definition. So I love this because it's affordable from Superdrug again and yeah it just it ticks all the boxes it does everything that you'd want to do with your eyebrows. Um, so yeah really loving that and again really affordable. The next thing I wanted to talk about was this Zoella shower cream. This is amazing it's the Zoella Soak Opera I know it's been out for a while, but I've used the whole thing. It is really, really lovely. It has such a lovely scent to it, and it really gives a nice bubbly, like, kind of feel to your bath. It's just really lovely, and I love the smell, and that's the main thing I look for when I'm looking for a kind of bubble bath or something like that. And yeah, just, I don't know what else you can really say about a bath cream, but really lovely, and I definitely recommend for kind of Christmas presents, or if you just love Zoella and you want to try it out, definitely recommend this. Next one is a kind of random one, it's deodorant and I've seen some people talk about deodorant in their favourites videos before, this is just completely random. I normally use spray deodorant, I, this is just really funny talking about it but I normally use spray deodorant and I recently was like right I'm going to try roll on deodorant and I've been using this Nivea powder touch, oh my god it is amazing and I've been using this for about three weeks now and I've only used about that much of what you can see inside. 
I just thought it was a really interesting thing because I think I paid about £2 for this um, and I've barely used any of it. With spray on deodorant I go through them really quickly whereas this has cost me £2 and I don't know, it's going to last me ages, I don't know when it's ever going to run out. So kind of just this for, it does work just as well as a normal spray on deodorant but yeah just purely for the cost, for the fact that I've spent £2 on this, which is the same kind of, if not cheaper than a spray on, but it's going to last me so much longer than a spray on. But yeah, really love this, got a really nice smell to it, like kind of any deodorant would. But yeah, just purely for the cost, loving this. Now the last thing is a kind of favourite of mine, and it's a dupe, like a high street drugstore kind of dupe. And it's a perfume, um, I, I wish I could have kind of done a whole video on this but it doesn't feel like it needs a whole video but I just really want to get it out there because it's something that's really expensive. Now I recently started to love the Lancome perfume and it's something, I can't really pronounce it but it's La Vie Air Belle, I've said that completely wrong but anyway it's this one and it smells absolutely amazing. It's one of those perfumes where it really does last. Like the smell is just gorgeous, but for this kind of 50ml box, you're looking at about £60, and that's the cheapest you will get it. And £60 for a perfume is quite expensive. And when I got it, I got it for a gift, and I kind of felt like I didn't want to use it because it was so expensive. I didn't want to waste it, and it just seemed too precious to use. So I thought it would be amazing if I could find a dupe for this really expensive perfume. Now, on the complete off chance, I was in New Look buying something not even perfume related, and I randomly smelled one of their perfumes. They have a perfume range in New Look, and I could not believe it, but this perfume from New Look smells exactly the same as this. And I didn't buy it because I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do give it a test. So I sprayed it on, it's just amazing. I sprayed it on in the shop and went out shopping for the rest of the day. When I got back in the car to go home, I still could smell the perfume. And then I thought, okay, right, it's definitely worth it. So this is £11 and this is £60. So you're saving £50. Now, I still love this, but it just means that I can now use this for like special occasions, whereas I can wear this every day. So like I said, £11, or you can get these in a kind of smaller size, like a handbag size as well for cheaper. But yeah, really nice. It doesn't last as long as the Lancome perfume, but obviously there's such a price difference, you would expect that. But yeah, really lovely perfume, and I always can smell it on myself. I hate it when you buy a perfume, you spray it and it smells lovely, and then by the end of the day, the smell is completely gone. So... I love this for the fact that one, it stays on all day, and two, because it smells just like an amazing Lancome 60 pound perfume. So my last two products are skincare related. I'm one of these people where I barely spend any money on my skincare. I love makeup and I love stuff to do with my hair and that's where my money will go. So in my glossy box a couple of months ago, I got this cleanser and toner. And I hate to admit it, but I've never ever cleansed or toned my face before. I've never used anything like it. Um, so I was really, really excited to use them. And I've been using them now for a couple of months, ever since I started getting my glossy boxes. These are amazing. First of all, if you've never cleansed and used toner on your face before, then try it because you will never, re you never realise how much makeup is still left on your face. I'm one of these people where I just use face wipes because they're quick and they're easy and I can just quickly get my makeup off. When I use these afterwards, after using a face wipe, you will not believe how much makeup is left on your skin. So even if you don't have bad skin, I don't have particularly bad skin. I've, I've been kind of lucky that I've got quite clear skin. But just for the sake of your skin and you're not wanting to leave foundation and makeup on your face while you sleep I definitely recommend trying some kind of cleanser or toner if not these and another reason why I love them is I've been using them now I'd say it's been about four months probably yeah about four months and this is kind of got I'd say about half of it left like from what I can hear this 
but I use this like every other day because I don't like to use it too much it kind of dries out your skin a little bit which for me is actually a really good thing because I've got quite oily skin but there is so there's I'd say there's about that much left in there because you really don't need a lot just pop a bit of this onto a cotton pad and just rub on your skin I just can't even explain to you how much makeup you do not realize it's just still on your skin it is quite gross but yeah just loving these I am going to try some like drugstore high street um, cleansers and toners so if you can recommend any then please do because I've only ever used these so I need to kind of branch out a little bit to see if there's anything out there as well but yeah just really loving these um, I wanted to put these in an empties video with the Zoella body cream but I can't because they won't run out they just won't and I'm not being funny I use so much of this I, I can't believe how long it's lasted so that's the end of my November favourites it's been very makeup and beauty related just because those are the things that I've been absolutely loving this month and for the last couple of months as well because I haven't actually got around to doing any favourites I think for the last two months so I hope you've enjoyed this video I know it's been ages since I've done one, but hopefully I can get into a routine of maybe doing one video a week if I can make the time. So anyway, please subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it and I can't believe I'm nearly on 300 subscribers. To a lot of people, that's nothing, but to me that's just crazy that potentially 300 people want to watch a video of me just chatting. But anyway, so yeah, like I said, subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a thumbs up and comment any videos you might like me to do below or anything you might want to give me feedback on the videos. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video.